Hello, 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 and welcome, my YouTube friends. Welcome to your uh, Angels and Mantras reading for March 2021. It's been going on all morning. <laughs> I, I live in a condo development, have a lovely, lovely uh, uh, three-bedroom here, two floors, and I share the back wall with another one that mirrors, right? So either they're doing carpentry or someone's really getting it. I feel like it's carpentry, it's a little early for that sort of enthusiasm otherwise. So uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, really uh, happy to be doing these. I just finished the uh, timeless, uh, the timeless, uh, true love reads for Pisces. I did the last one, finished that series. My new book, ah, oh, well, it's not a new book. I wrote it two years ago. I did my own version of it, but Words of Grace from a Professional Witch is now on Kindle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Dylan Martinson, and thank you, Jill Schweitzer, my Kindle editor, my original editor. Very, very happy about it. Of course, there are links in the description box. I'm a Virgo, right? And uh, I'm getting ready to do my next tarot party on my Facebook page, the Drawing the Circle Productions Facebook page. Links in the description box if you want to come play Monday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's get up in this gig. I really enjoy doing these. I, I, there are no tarot in the, the this monthly series that I do. I do Angels and Archetypes and the Crystal uh, Oracle with the lover, the 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 lover's oracle so the crystal of lover's oracle it's fun for me and it's all 12 signs uh sun moon rising venus uh placement so uh, standard youtube rules apply um take what resonates leave what doesn't but i will say whenever we're working with this mantra deck they get because we're using healing with the angels oracle dorian virtue and matt Kahn's healing mantra deck write them down write down the mantras and the angels because you say the mantra focusing or praying to an angel or working with whatever however you work with that healing with the angels oracle always asks the question well what would the function of that healing angel be like if it's the healing angel of balance obviously uh, it's going to heal you uh, uh bring you into balance but it also might balance your healing which sound it, there are different interpretations so working with for example, the healing mantra with the healing angel, you sort of get what I'm saying. And write them down, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, because if you write them down like on post-its and then move them around, you get entire paragraphs that, uh, and you go like, oh my god, that's exactly what, I'm, what I mean. Got it? All the decks that I read are always in the description box below. There's always tons of linkage in my uh, description box, because I am a Virgo and a spiritual teacher, really, first and foremost. Divination is just one means through which that happens. Try dating me. I'm sure it's great. Well, it is fun. For <laughs> anyway, let's do this. We're going to get uh, 12 of these on the table. Aries through Pisces face down. We'll turn them over one at a time once I get the mantra for them. Got it? So it just takes a minute. Please take a nice deep breath. Ah, oh, because here we go. My angels and archangels, for all 12 signs, all four elements, please, face down, 12 cards, Aries through Pisces. Where are you? There you are. I have to wait until I feel it. There you are. Please, I'm going to call them out one at a time to pair them then with uh, the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn. The Ascended Masters will do that part, so please... Uh, who Who is the angel walking with? That's a great way to say it. Who is the angel walking with? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This is all for March 2021. How about for Taurus? Yeah, they give me the little zodiac signs in neon. <laughs> it's like, doing so I know when I'm ready. How about that Gemini there? My crazy ass. <laughs> Psychos of the zodiac. I love you, Geminis. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Cancerians, there we are. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. How about the healing angels for Leo, Virgo, I like this, Libra, <laughs> getting the cards on the table took less time than it did to explain what the fuck I'm doing here today, <laughs> and uh, okay. Cancer, uh, Leo, Virgo, Libra, <laughs> Uh, uh, Scorpio, show me my Scorps there. They know, even if I said the wrong words, they know. They know. When you're a mystic, you just trust the right. Everything is happening for a purpose. Speaking of which, Sagittarius for me, Sagittarians. Their healing angel, Capricorn. My Capricorns, good God, I love my Capricorns. 
and uh, how about my aqualungs, my aquariums, my aquarians, and my fishy family. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, all hail the Pisces moon, the elder of the zodiac for March 2021. What is there? Healing angel? Great. We got him on the table. Rock on. Now, the thing is, I couldn't do that with these cards because it has the mantra on one side and the name of the mantra on the other, so I would know what it was. So let's do this. Ready? Both feet on the floor, if you can, right? Uh, uh, focus on your breath, if you will, and let's see what we get here. Breathe. We're going to start with Aries, and Aries has, ooh, the angel of new beginnings, the healing angel of new beginnings, first sign of the zodiac. That's, as they say in the song, bingo was its name-o. Breathe. This is where we go deep. All right, my Ascended Masters General Assembly, please, for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, a sign for March 2021. The healing angel that's offering to work with them is the Angel of New Beginnings, and that feels lovely. Oh, right, we're going into, uh, in March, we'll be going into... Aries, right? So for the Aries sun signs, this is a new beginning. We're beginning of a whole new year. Thank you for reminding me of that, my beloved Ascended Masters. What's the perfect healing mantra for them for, for March? Welcoming surrender. This is a good one. This is a really good stress reliever. Uh, there is no problem, only destiny being revealed. So whatever problems are going on here, I'm going to read from the boogie book. It's, I like doing these. These are fun for me. I, I really do enjoy them. Uh, they're different <laughs> from Twin Flames and Soulmates and all that jazz. Uh, welcoming surrender. There is no problem, only destiny being revealed, which is always the truth, right? But there is fate and there is destiny, right? Fate is what we cannot change. Destiny is what we do. And destiny is the, the gold side of that alchemical equation, fate. Uh, to destiny led to gold, toxic to healthy, right? How the soul grows as a result of that. That's just freaking lovely. So let me read you Welcoming Surrender. I'm pretty sure it is the last one in the deck. And sure enough, it is. These are really brief if you're new to this. I love th this deck. Welcoming Surrender. There's no, there is no, there's no problem. Only destiny being fulfilled. I need to say that to somebody uh, today. When surrender is welcomed... You are open to viewing life as the playground of the soul's evolution. Exactly. This world is not about the ego getting its way, <laughs> though it'll beg, borrow, steal, lie, cheat, and whatever to get to do that. It's for the development of the soul. It's the incarnational gem, right? <laughs> Working on your glutes, your soul glutes. Uh, you are no a squad. You are no longer worrying about uh, what to do or where to go. Instead, you're following the gentle, peaceful flow of inner guidance in surrender. Every personal conflict is handed over to source so as not to distract from the pr uh, prime objective of evolving your consciousness with utmost sincerity, love, and compassion for all. Now, the thing is, is that people can take surrender to this place, um, and it's part of the, everybody does it, everybody does it until they don't anymore, where it's like giving up. It's not that. Welcoming surrender is saying, use me. Use me. Highest, you know, not just any old spirit floating around, right? God, God, Zeus, Buddha, Jesus, you know, whoever... Thor, Morgan, Daphne, Fred, Wilma, <laughs> Zan, Jaina, whoever, right? Use me. Let's do this. Let's evolve. I surrender so that anything and everything that's uh, happening outside or inside, it's not a problem. It's just destiny being fulfilled. Uh, this mantra is ideal for eliminating resistance, dealing with anger, Aries. It's not like you're not known for it. And easing an overthinking mind, head, head, head. Aries rules the head. That's pretty rock and roll. Yay! Let's keep going. That was fun. Uh, Taurus, serenity. Now! That's very Taurus. Serenity now! Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm like a Seinfeld reference peppered in here and there. Let's. What would the healing angel of serenity do, right? Well, I mean, I always default to... Um, you know, serenity prayer. I was never in a 12-step process, but I studied it and took what worked. I took what resonated and leave, left what didn't. Uh, so l let's see. Well, okay. All right, all right, all right. The Earth Angels, because you're, you know, Taurus is sign of Earth. They're saying that this really is about um, 
that there are certain limitations in place that the bull is straining against. That makes sense, right? The bull doesn't want to be penned anymore. And with what we've been going through on planet Earth for the past year, that's completely understandable. But sort of like that thing of welcoming surrender, if you can sort of kind of get like, all right, I hate it, and it's okay to hate it, really, honestly, rather than bypass your emotions. But that prayer, right? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. So you're saying, I can't do that right now, but grant me that. Grant me that skill, if you will. The courage to change the things I can, and that's the stuff inside of yourself, how you're seeing it, right? And, but that doesn't mean emotional bypassing either, right? And the wisdom to know the difference. Breathe. All right, my ascended masters, general assembly, what is the perfect healing mantra. The cards are getting a little clunky here. Breathe. What is the perfect healing mantra then for the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for March 2021 with the Angel of Serenity? Befriending pain. I was getting that kind of clunky thing here. And this might actually be physical pain. This can certainly refer to spiritual, emotional, mental, as well as a uh, physical pain. People say there's spiritual pain. I'm like, yeah, when you're feeling abandoned by the divine, we would call that spiritual pain, but you never are, right? But part of the dark night of the soul, for example. Befriending pain, the mantra, when discomfort becomes a friend, my most limiting beliefs are healed. And this is true. I'll tell you why this is true. Because so often we take pain as a sign of punishment that we've done something wrong, even subconsciously. What did I do wrong? Like if I get a migraine, which I do every now and again, spinal subluxation, so all of the usual treatments, I have to go to a chiropractor, I'd rather do yoga. I have a great chiropractor though, it's just not time yet. You know what I mean? So it's like, what did I do wrong? I stopped on it wrong, I did this, I did that. And this mantra really helps. Uh, when discomfort becomes a friend, my most uh, limiting beliefs are healed. When you befriend pain, you are allowing limitations to be released from the cells of your body because pain is often the result of rapid transformation. Remember that it is often a sign of rapid transformation. It is essential to make friends with it in recognition of how quickly you are evolving. It might be uncomfortable and sometimes nearly unbearable. But your most profound shifts in consciousness often occur once pain is befriended as an ally of your evolution. Isn't that such a game changer? I think that is like such the game changer. It's like, oh, this isn't punishment. This is transformation. I will say I cut my finger. I cut my pinky. <laughs> I get blue apron now, so I had to, to like slice an onion and I just nicked it. But, like, it burns. It burns. Thank you, Coco Peru. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's like, so to befriend that, I was like, keep going, baby. You're doing it. You're doing it. Like, it's healing. But particularly on an emotional level, this is also true. Uh, the last little bit of this. Uh, this mantra is ideal for healing the body. I did say something feels very physical here, obviously. Uh, body, mind, and soul on an energetic level. So call to the angel of serenity and say, when discomfort becomes my friend, my most limiting beliefs are healed. And then you're really rocking and rolling. I like that. That feels good. Ready? My gems, are you outrageous? Are you truly outrageous? Are you truly, truly, truly outrageous? Well, I don't know. You're dealing with new love. What would the healing angel in new love be? You'd think, oh, it's bringing me a new love. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. General reads. Good old fashioned, new fashioned general reads. Um... This is preparing you for new love, right? Or bringing new love into you that would heal you. This could be self-love. This could be tribal love. This could be love of art, love of the divine. But it is new for you. So working with the, you know, and the healing angels of new love, I would think, would really have to do a lot with letting go of the past. By the way, I'm doing this on full moon. Uh, blessed full moon. This will hit today. This will hit for the day of full moon. That's that's a good thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Blessed full moon in Virgo. <laughs> and I'm a Pisces moon, so the moon, sun, is, uh, sun is in Pisces, moon is in Virgo, so it's my inverse uh, astrology, a day of power, right? Born on a full moon. I have good feelings for you about this, Gems. Just getting this feeling, it's like this isn't just about a person. Well, it's about you as a person, certainly, but it's sort of like they're... They're sort of healing you to bring this stuff out, maybe through forgiveness, maybe through acceptance and letting go. Isn't it funny, the paradox 
of accepting and letting go. It's like, this is over. And that's the acceptance lets it go. Um, but because we are in waning moon now, right? To clear out the past, to forgive a little bit day by day by day. Let's see what comes up. Breathe. There you are, my Ascended Masters General Assembly. Please, what is the perfect healing mantra for the Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign? Watching this video, receiving this reading for uh, March 2021, considering the angels, the healing angels of new love are with them. Polishing my heart. Uh-oh, they're going to make you be emotional, Gemini. Take a deep breath. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. Now, look, I believe everybody gets one zodiacal bias. <laughs> That's the new role. Call Bill Maher. Everybody gets one zodiacal uh, bias. Mine is Gemini because my dad was. It's a long story. Wait till my book comes out. My other books come out. Look, uh, polishing my heart. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. And it's true. It really is true. Even feeling the hard stuff, right? Feeling the stuff that we don't want to feel. This could involve shadow work. Again, at least going in to this uh, waning moon in Virgo, uh, going to Pisces new, uh, sorry, one second. Do, 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 do. Sweet uh, Georgia Brown, uh, polishing my heart. Feeling is a power. That helps me heal, which is just so absolutely accurate. Particularly if you're a Gemini moon, I'm going to say this is going to hit you a bit. Uh, when the heart is polished, you are able to honor each emotion for its potent healing properties. A polished heart doesn't take sides, cast blame, or maintain grudges. So if that's what you're going through, it's sort of the indicator that I need to polish my heart and unbreak my heart and say I'll love it again. It faces life openly, willing to feel whatever sensations life may inspire. Oh, they're just giving me a cool image. Just for the chance to transform into higher aspects of perfection. That it's essential. It's part of holistic healing. You know, holistic health ain't all about arnica and rescue remedy. I mean, I understand merchandise has to be involved, but it's not all about the externals. It's about physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, right? Like those Russian nesting dolls, getting those all into congruence. The emotions have, well, aside from anything coming at you physically from the outside, your emotions have the most influence on your physiology. And what... What influences your emotions? Your thoughts, air sign, right? So this mantra is ideal for unraveling emotional stuckness, easing worry, and cultivating bravery. I think this absolutely goes with the angel of new love as I felt it, right, gems? It's like, I got a pop, and they're, <laughs> the healing angels of new love are helping me polish my heart. And the image that they gave me, a little flash, a little clairvoyant image there, was of um, a gem, but in its raw form. What do you do? You polish it, right? You're not going to do this big thing with like matrix of Lord knows what other rocks and minerals are on there on a piece of jewelry. No, you clean it, you polish it, you buff it down, right? Go watch a YouTube video on that stuff. That's fascinating. <laughs> but I'm a Virgo, mutable earth. I like to watch physical things change, obviously. So that's lovely. But it's a, you know, it's a mantra. I could understand somebody having hesitancy, right? Feeling is a power that helps me heal, particularly if you've got emotional baggage. But excuse me, aside from the Dalai Lama, I don't know of anybody else, right? At least... <laughs> on that sort of naming basis. Uh, 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 that does that does end, right? Aside from the Dalai Lama and a handful of people, I don't know, maybe Sandra Ray. <laughs> Sandra Ray, Sandra Ray, Sandra Ray. Ready, Cancerians? Body care, good. <laughs> the healing angel of body care. And tuning to this, this is really about March making the movement because um, we will be hitting vernal equinox first day of spring this month of really getting that shift of really making sure that not just your physical home is ready for that because you know you start putting away some stuff at least I do right start changing the colors in the house from uh, winter into spring right flowers start coming in um, but also like your home as well as your body, right? Taking care of that, spring cleaning. Like now is really the time for people if they want to try and lose weight and stuff like that to really work with that waxing sun because it's going into the solar plexus. It's a long story. 
Let's just get your mantra. See, I can't not teach. Breathe. There you are, my Ascended Masters General Assembly. Please, what is the perfect healing mantra for the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus signs? What is their perfect healing mantra that would help them out with this angel of body care in tandem, please? Watching this video, receiving this reading for March 2021. Receiving elation, I am born of infinite joy but you're gonna need the body care to hold the frequency they just showed it to me and they were they were they were actually giving me images and this is no joke this is how my guides work with me of a happy mr Krabs, right like in the chum bucket <laughs> right? no not the chum bucket oh god my god my, my memory <laughs> doing readings and staying in the present moment is tricky right the crusty crab how the fuck did i forget that <laughs> Hey, Mr. Krabs. Uh, receiving elation. This is a wonderful card. I am born of infinite joy, and they're just showing me now. Cancer, mother of the zodiac. Like, you're pregnant with your own joy, and joy is pregnant with you right now. I am born of infinite joy. Uh, receiving elation. I am born of infinite joy. When elation is received... Joy becomes your natural state of being. In elation, you are aligning with ex uh, the ecstatic nature of the universe to live each moment with renewed passion and purpose. Now, right there, that sounds like a weekend's worth of work that might stay with you, right? Working with this particular mantra, with this particular angel, right? The elation that could come from body care. Um... Where did I leave off? Each one with a new passion and purpose. Okay. Uh, elation helps you enjoy your human journey as it is right now without projecting your fulfillment onto the anticipation of future pending outcomes. And I think that's why the energy did get a little weird there. When you're not really focused in your body too much, where are you? You're in the past or in the future, right? And right here now is where... now. I know. You feel it. Well, it's a mantra. Right? It's, it, there, is, uh, there is participation involved, if not outright effort. Um, so yeah, instead of like, I, I'll feel joy when, which honey, we all do that. But Cancerians, this is something that you can do with that healing angel to really bring you into the present moment and really enjoy all, so all sorts of things here and now. Um, my mantra, uh, this mantra is ideal for increasing the flow of creative inspiration, always worth it. Uh, you are creative water, cardinal water, elevating the immune system, you got that going for you, and being more present. Yeah, there's something very much about being in the present moment now, so do spring cleaning. There you go. But spring cleaning, my mother's a Cancerian. Her, her homes, I should say, because she's obviously lived in one place, moved to another. Every place that she ever had as a home since I was born was an extension, I want to say, of her body, but it was definitely her domain, right? Like, your body is your domain. So, you are born of infinite joy. And this doesn't mean you're going to feel it all the time, but it's a real recognition that the more you do a mantra like this while taking care of your body, right? Whether that is nutritionally, you know, yoga, shmoga, tai chi, whatever, reiki, shmeiki, eggs and bakey, whatever it is you do, or maybe getting the rest that you need, or maybe, oh, no, I don't want to go there, but if you are a caretaker, really turning that energy towards yourself, and you've got a healing angel to help you that, and it might just even be about reducing the stress that's covering up that joy, that innate power of the soul. I mean, Eckhart Tolle says that joy is our natural state, but we've got a lot of stuff on top of that, right? Layered on top of it. There's a bit of interior excavation, perhaps. But if you think of that as the stress in the nervous system, that through the body care, and this angel will bring you things and ideas and articles and opportunities to really body care yourself, take care of yourself physically, as those cl those clouds before the sun, so to speak, begin to evaporate, the joy rises up. I gotta tell you, I had some moments of pure joy when uh, when words of great grace hit Kindle. We did it right before the full moon, um, the waxing um, side in Leo. <laughs> 
because I'm a witch. Uh, uh, speaking of Leo, uh, the children, the healing angel of children. Now, this card, if you take it literally, then take it literally. This would be about the healing of literal children. I ain't got kids, I got cats. So being that I am Leo rising, I have to go a little bit deeper than that. This is could totally about healing that child within your heart, right? Matt Kahn, using his deck here, uh, gives such perfect clarity on inner child work, which really is so much about shadow work too. Oh, he's worth the read. And his videos on YouTube are great. Matt Kahn, all for love. Um, to see the heart, Think of the heart, allow the heart to be the child, right? And talk to it so that it gives you this a little bit of therapeutic distance where you can witness there and talk to and love that. Now, this would the, the healing angel of children do? What well, would help heal children? Would heal that child inside of you as well as bring about a childlike innocence that facilitates healing, right? The child can believe there's somehow it's all going to work out unless that child is wounded, right? Uh, carrying some conditioning, some uh, abuse, neglect, codependence, or loss vibe in there, the four ego wounds. And, you know, we, we're, when we're kids, we absorb stuff from around us and make assumptions that we can I would have loved to have said to my father, Dad, I think you're projecting some of your issues onto me, and I'm five. <laughs> I would have been dead. <laughs> that would have been the end of the story. Right? That's okay. Once you crossed over, we made up. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not a medium. I'm a large, rare. Breathe. Oh, my ascended masters, please. What is the healing mantra here? General Assembly for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading for uh, March 2021. They got the healing angel of children there. What would be the mantra to pair with that? Like a good wine with, a, I don't know, let's say poultry, chicken. Uh, tastes like chicken. Anchoring the light. Rock and roll. The light is always with me, in me. For a Leo, we know. <laughs> Said the Leo rising. The light is always... I keep forgetting. In this lighting with pastel with white ink, you can't see that. Uh, uh, anchoring the light. I mean, the light is always within me. The light is always within me. The light... See... Leo's everywhere, at, you're running on their trunk, the light is always within me. <laughs> we can be very athletic in more ways than one. Uh, let's, uh, let's get this one, because that light, that innocence, that childlike, the child of your heart, that feels really very lovely. Did I just skip right over it? I certainly did. Anchoring the light, the light is always within me. Uh, when you anchor the light, you are accepting the infinite life force of the universe as your guardian, navigator, and companion. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say personal assistant. We aren't talking about uh, the universe itself. But that is a real partnership that can... Um, that can be of, of great support to that child of the heart if we're looking at inner child stuff here. As you anchor the light, you are no longer a person trying to find the deeper meaning of connection horizontally or, or vertically, right? Connection to the divine, connection to others. Little Neil Sedaka there for you. Instead, you know yourself to be an expression of connection. Uh, simply appearing in human form. So the connections that you're looking for, you are actually, you are the expression of that divine connection in human form because the light is always within you. Now look, before we do that last part of it, if you really look at Einstein, E equals MC squared. E, make that light, MC squared. Everything's made of light. So of course it's within you, but it's within everybody. So if we're all really one thing, because we are the light and we are the thunder, <laughs> with the sound of the words we're both falling under, uh, uh, then really the light is always within you. That connection, it's not that we're connected, we're all one thing, right? Um, this mantra is ideal for overcoming fear, rock and roll, reducing cravings, that's interesting, and making important life decisions. So, you know, if this child in you is afraid, is afraid, has the big life decision to make, maybe it's a lover's card moment in your life, right? From Tarot, 
Well, that child's allowed to be afraid. Like, and how many people are feeling that too? So what if you're an empath on top of that, right? Picking up on everybody's everything emotionally through the lower three chakras. The light is always within me, anchoring the light. I think you're going to really enjoy doing that. It's a mantra that I've done. It's not one that I've focused on like some of the others. But I think really in terms if you're into the whole unity consciousness thing and if you really want the happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate partner, that child's got to feel safe. (laughs) That child has to feel safe to know that no matter who comes horizontally, they're number one. It's like, no, no, no. If, If you're not ready for that, you're not ready for that. It's a long process, but um, you know what? Inner child work isn't a process. It's a relationship. It's a relationship to your own heart. That was a download for you right there. <gasps> Virgos! Mm, abundance! <laughs> Rock and roll! Oh, my lovelies, I love being a Virgo. If I have to come back again, I may request of being a Virgo again. Double dipping uh, in the Virgin. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. What would the healing angel of abundance do? Well, certainly the most obvious is help you heal your abundance issues. But remember, abundance ain't all about money, right? There's there's abundance of time. There's abundance of health or lack thereof, right? But I also feel like this could be about you absolutely um, using your abundance to heal, right? It's like always flip the words around. That's why I said, write these down and do the word play. You'd be surprised what jumps out at you. Even if right now it's not hitting so much, but you're getting a feeling it doesn't make sense. I'm saying jigsaw puzzle the words. It's great fun. Well, it's Virgo fun. Uh, uh, so the, the vibe that I get on this is very uh, root and second chakra. It really does feel like there is something very physical here, that the angels are healing you in order to receive it, right? And that also there is an abundance of healing available to you. That's us, I'll say. That's lovely. I'll take that. Please let the Kindle... I don't know if it'll be a bestseller. I mean, it's called Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. I mean, the title might be a little off-putting for some people, but, you know, if I ain't going to be authentic, why bother? I am, after all, a Virgo with a Leo rising. Shall we? Breathe. Ah, yeah, they just said relax, kid. All right. My Ascended Masters General Assembly. What is the perfect healing mantra? For this Virgo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Uh, Watching this video, receiving this reading. What's the healing mantra they need to work with? uh, In tandem, I should say, with uh, the Healing Angels of Abundance, March 2021. I almost said our time was enough. Expanding inner power. I am my most powerful when my creativity is given a voice. Well, I have to say, being a YouTuber and now having words of grace out, um, yeah, that I must be a revving on all cylinders here. I am my most powerful when my creativity is given a voice loving this. And with the Healing Angel of Abundance, now that's where it can, yeah, it's going to be an abundance of creative energy and that's great. But it feels like it might very well be preparing you to start bringing in the physical abundance. You know, everybody goes immediately to money, and that's why I kind of, like, make that part of the story, unless it's really in the story. And it feels like this might really be in the story for the majority of Virgos, if not all of us. Um, Expanding inner inner power. Uh, When inner power uh, expands... You are able to openly communicate your truths, aspirations, and ideas as a way of circulating the energy that pours in from the cosmos. In a very long, uh, long sentence, very throat chakra, right? What you choose, right? To openly communicate your truths, aspirations, and ideas. So just even saying them. Now, I will say, don't hand your bubble to bubble poppers. I mean, my family, I love them dearly, but, you know, they had to be skeptical. I'm a witch. I'm the only witch in the family, and I believe I'm the only gay male. Yeah, right. In in generations, if ever. Right? So, for my, I got a text from my parents this morning. They read the, the Kindle, and they were like, you made us cry. It's so good. I'm like, you waited two years until it came out on Kindle to read it? They're like, yep. 
<laughs> which is why maybe I'm an overachiever, uh, right? But it is all about that, right? It, it, it's all about taking it and speaking it. So they're not bubble poppers anymore. But I had to prove my work, not my worth. My worth does not need proving. As energy gets circulated by the sharing of your ideas, the universe is given permission to pour more inspiration, passion, and joy into your energy field, right? Just like a Brita or a pure filter. <laughs> it's, like it's coming through you and, and they're pouring in more. So the more you do it, I mean, and that doesn't have to necessarily be to other people. That can be journaling. Um, Mal Flanders, my podcast partner, we're always talking on the phone. We talk every day. We're podcast partners. Like, what do we want to do? We talk about this and that. And I'm like, write it down, woman. Write it down, right? Because otherwise it just goes off into the air. So sometimes it is good, you know, to have a little private, a journal, something, hide it away, but express yourself. <laughs> now I've got Madonna in my head. Thank you. I'll take it. As your inner power expands, creativity becomes the life force of source energy surging through you to inspire the embodiment of your highest self worth it. Uh, this mantra is ideal for resolving creative blocks, healing traumas, hello Virgo, and uh, releasing blocks of stagnation. You know, it feels like this circulation of energy, and keep in mind Virgo is ruled by the intestines. It's very that. It's very that. Absorbing what is useful, getting rid of what doesn't, and not just absorbing what's useful, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, all of that but then bringing it to every cell so that we can express ourselves, right? And the more that moves through us, the more it comes in. This feels like a, a Mobius, like a, the, the sign of infinity here, but really important because you might have a lot to say too, or a lot to express, right? So expanding that inner power. Now it's a contradictory point for the waning moon, but it is full moon today, Virgo. So express your creativity in some way, shape, or form. And remember, that could be through food, that could be through, yes, obviously words. I am verbal. I'm very third chakra divine. No bad reflex either. Let's keep moving. Oh. Libra, 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 Libra. Soulmate. Now, there is no twin flame card in this deck, so I'm going to say the, the healing angels of soul contract, right? So this does look romantic in this card, but I will tell you, um, Every relationship you have is a soul contract. Reason, season, or lifetime. Everything is scripted, but there are so many variations of the script in the quantum, the ineffable divine plan, jumping timelines here, there, and everywhere. Sometimes with the blink of your eye, you're in a different timeline than you were before. So look, what would the healing angel of soulmate do? Now, um, my new take on this, my leaves, is helping you heal to be the mate of your own soul, or or through, God, I hear you, through mating with your own soul, you really become the soul mate that then heals your soul contracts, right? So, sort of like we were talking with uh, Leo there, with that inner child work, this feels a little bit different. It almost feels like higher self work, right? Like talking to your higher self, you hear me say it in other readings, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, right? Those higher selves of us, again, the image of Russian stacking dolls, right? All right, what's your healing mantra for this? Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, my nose is getting a little stuffed up. What's that about? Please, for an air sign. I am Venus and Libra, so please, there you are. My Ascended Masters General Assembly. What is the perfect healing mantra for this Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, particularly with the healing angels of soulmate. Their perfect healing mantra uh, for... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all sorts of physiological stuff going on here. Uh, liberating love. <laughs> it's interesting. This started to clog. This started to, to move here. I allow myself to receive all the fulfillment I'm willing to give to liberate love. And you're ruled by Venus, and it's a soulmate thing. I feel like for some of you, what's going to have to heal, particularly this waning moon here you're going to be feeling a lot <laughs> of stuff. Um, and underneath it, they're giving me this image, man. 
just like a flower, a spring flower, right? It's pushing through the dirt to come up, but it's something beautiful that you can't quite yet see coming up here. Liberating love in a soul contract. This might be no matter what the other person does. Twin flame, soulmate, true love, don't matter. Uh, you're going to liberate your own self here. I allow myself to receive all the fulfillment I'm willing to give. Now look, right there, Libra, receive, give, give, receive. This is like a total Libra mantra. When love is liberated, your heart remains open to all the gifts that life has to offer. Good selling point. As love is liberated from the emotional wounds of the human condition. Wait, wait no, no, sorry, did I miss something there? As love is liberated from the emotional wounds of the human condition, oh, that's a comma, it becomes easy to accept, forgive, and receive, which is all stuff we know we're supposed to do, but there is a process getting there. That's easier said than done. When such actions seem exhausting, like I just said, is simply a sign that your heart doesn't feel safe enough to remain open. When this occurs, your will's freedom to embrace each tender corner of your consciousness will allow opening to resume. This is inner child work. It's talking to your heart like that child. That really is energetically speaking, right? Remembers everything, every slight, every wound. And it's saying there's a big thing here about conditioning, right? That, that this isn't all necessarily trauma or something that you've done wrong. It's just conditioning that you've picked up in the world. And we all have, right? When the heart has permission to open, your love is liberated and you can shine a light into, uh, into all levels of reality to awaken the truth of all. Now, it's that last little bit that gave me pause there. That by you opening your heart here, you liberating your love, you can shine light, which is truth, and love, which... You know, love and light, people say that all the time, the, the mental and the emotional aspects of the divine in, in, through, through us, the truth of who we are, that it's not just healing you, it's liberating all, that there is sort of a ripple effect that goes on here. It makes sense with soul contracts. Uh, this mantra is ideal for learning how to believe in yourself, promoting self-realization, and integrating the shadow. Welcome to uh, Waning Moon. <laughs> now that it's full, welcome to Waning Moon. Speaking of shadow, what's going on with my uh, Scorpios? We have got divine timing. Now, I will say I've called to the healing angel of divine timing, and it essentially told me that, Mark, everything is div in divine timing. Everything is in divine timing. There's nothing else but divine timing. So it helped me chill the fuck out, <laughs> is what it did. And not all at once, right? And that doesn't mean I don't get impatient. Absolutely. Uh, Scorpio, but what would the healing angel of divine timing be? Most likely that. Tell you that your healing is coming in divine timing. And to heal your issue with time, right? Time is the great enslaver until it's not, right? What does it mean to make friends with time? Mm. It's a relationship. Boogie, yoogie, yoogie. Breathe. All right, my Ascended Masters General Assembly, what is the perfect healing mantra for the Scorpio Collective? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading for March 2021, uh, working with the healing angel of divine timing there. Their perfect healing mantra is... Uh, Hearing inner guidance, my intuition flows whenever I am still, and that's so Virgo. Uh, sorry, that's so uh, Scorpio. I'll get the stillness part of Virgo, too, although we're mutable. Uh, Earth, fixed water here. This is really saying that the intuitive water sign that you are, there's talking about some stillness, and I feel like you're getting the opportunity to do that with divine timing. Maybe they've hit the pause button now. How much of us like it? When the universe hits the pause button, this whole fucking past year has been like... Like the universe has hit the pause button in certain aspects of our lives. But if everything is happening for a purpose, not a reason, do not seek reason in this world, at least not anymore, because it's all about divine purpose, which you may 
BBC in retrospect, and that might be what this is about. Why is it taking me so long? Because, no, well, how many people complain about getting what they want quickly, right? And I've never heard anybody bitch and moan about divine timing when it wasn't about getting what they want, right? Where, even if it was, you know a healing thing, right? It's like, when is this going to heal? When is this going to heal? It's a journey. Life is a highway. I suggest you ride it all night long, right? Hearing your inner guidance. My intuition flows whenever I am still. And look, I, I just have to say, in terms of interior stillness, nobody's got it like the Scorpio does, right? It is fixed water, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Hearing inner guidance. My intuition flows whenever I am still. Breathe. When you hear inner guidance, you receive an affirming and defining moment of inspiration. It can be a new direction, a new way of seeing old patterns, or an enchanted idea that is delivered in your own voice out of the silence. When inner guidance is heard, you are ready to either hunker down into the healing benefits of your current circumstances, which might be part of that divine timing thing, uh, or move forward into a brand new chapter. In either case, this is an opportunity to further align with your soul by embracing your needs. Uh, and, and yeah, you need the stillness. You need the silence. We all do. How much do we get it except when we're asleep, right? This feels different. This feels more meditative for sure. This mantra is ideal for resolving restlessness, nothing worse than a restless scorpion, becoming a better listener, and being more open-minded, and not just listeners to others horizontally, maybe not just listening within, but listening uh, vertically. Divine timing. Talk to... Well, all right, they're saying, yeah, yeah, prayers, spells, intention work, all of that, that's talking to the universe. You make the time to listen, which just means I'm not trying to hear anything other than what you want me to hear. Let me sit still so that you can find me. They know where you are, but if you're a moving target, right? <laughs> Stillness, right? And that is the word here. The My intuition flows whenever I am still. And I do love you. Still. Uh, Sagittarius, healing angel of trust. Now, we all know healing trust is not the thing in the world. Whew. Many ways, shapes, and forms what we've all been through, right? You know, the, the particularly Sagittarians can be very impulsive, trusting their gut. They don't get what they want, but they got what they needed, which might have sucked, right? The, there's what would the healing angel of trust B, look, if you are a healer, trust your healing skills, use them, right? But more than that, it does feel like you've been betrayed, who hasn't, or at least you believe you've been betrayed. We can feel very betrayed by the divine when we've been good little boys and girls in earth school and we don't get our way, and we don't get what we want. Uh, we become very punishment reward oriented. Kind of getting that off this? Look at me covering my solar plexus. Sag, look, you're hunters, you're expansive, you're gregarious, you're joyful. So I could see people taking advantage of that, really getting that for this card. Um, you want to have fun. You want to be generous. You want to do stuff, but maybe you want to do stuff. Does anybody else want to do stuff? Uh, you want to express yourself. You want to do your thing, but there's a thing of trust here. W what is it that you don't trust? And that can be a litany. That can be Jenga, right? Pull out one of them and whew, the rest of those things fall, right? Faith in the path. Trust in the divine. Trust in your own intuition. Let's see. Let's see. The healing angel of trust, shall we? Yeah, I'll breathe through my mouth. I know I'm not supposed to. I'm not a mouth breather, but, you know. <laughs> my nose is stuffed for some reason. I wonder what the hell they're doing next door. If they're releasing dust into my house. Like, I clean. Breathe. I clean on my days off, which never come. <laughs> Please. Was that martyry? I apologize. Uh, my, uh... My Ascended Masters, uh, General Assembly, please, for this Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. What is their perfect healing mantra in tandem with the Healing Angel of... Oops, that one? Okay, Healing Angel of Trust. Uh, March 2021, Overcoming Fear. 
overcoming fear, I will transcend every loss, because it's true, we always do, eventually. Reason, season, or lifetime, overcoming fear. This totally works, because this means if it's about trust, then it's about something coming, right? When I, I, if you've lost trust in something, now faith and trust are not ultimately the same thing, because sometimes you have to trust in your faith, right? It's almost like faith is a noun, trust is a verb, right? But yet you can give your trust or have your trust taken. So play play with that meaning, right? Uh, noun and verb, back and forth. Because with overcoming fear, I will transcend every loss. And you will because there is no gain without loss. And there's no loss without gain. It's just part of the cycles of this world that we do not come from. We come from a place of unity where, where giving and receiving are one in truth. Thank you, Course in Miracles. You know, Course in Miracles, if it did anything, doing the workbook, 365 days of, uh, of lessons, it really put some of the core pure non-dualism into not just my subconscious mind, but in it's like my spiritual spine. One of the best things I ever did. It took me a year and a month <laughs> to do the Course in Miracles all the way through. I will transcend every loss. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There's definitely something respiratory in the air. That's redundant, not to mention 2021. But there's definitely um, there's some there's definitely something upset along with this. This isn't just a womp womp. It feels like for some of you that that it's 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 changing the way you breathe. Right? It's like <clears throat> you're trying to cough something up this fear. Uh, when fear is overcome, you are able to rest in the resilience of your soul, no matter how frustrated or inconvenienced your ego may seem to be. And you know what? That does make sense with that coughing thing, because he was like, what? What? It's like, you can rest in the resilience of your soul. Now, the soul is really who we are. It's, if you like, the actor that was cast to play the role of the personality, the name on your driver's license or whatever, you know, your, your human identity here. But the ego believes that it is it, right? And there is nothing else after this, so anything can be a threat. Are you body identified or spirit identified? That's Course in Miracles. If you're body identified, I'm a body, then, you know, touch the wrong doorknob, wipe your nose, uh-oh. <laughs> Spaghettios, uh, but from that place of the soul, we'll endure this. I love you. We'll get through this, right? You are able to embrace each obstacle and circumstance as life's auspicious way of helping you become the one you are always destined to be. So this is about your destiny, and you might have lost your faith in the path, and that the that the universe is working with you. You might feel it's working against you. Things are happening to you when they're really happening for you. In overcoming fear, every loss surely inspires a gain of insight for the evolution of your spiritual journey. And yeah, in hindsight, sure, but maybe you have lost your faith, right? Overcoming fear, I will transcend every loss, even the loss of my faith, perhaps. This mantra is ideal for opening back up to life, healing chronic fatigue, and releasing cellular memories. That's a lot in two cards. But look, there's something that Marianne Williamson said. I forget if it was a book or a lecture of hers. I was really into her in the 90s, and bless her soul, she's still amazing. Um, but she said faith is like a bank account, right? It's like currency. Um, what do you spend it in? Everybody has faith. It's an aspect of consciousness. So it's not so much that you've lost your faith, but you might have lost your faith in something here uh, that was lost or you have experienced loss in. Now, if this is, I'm just going to put it in this context as an example, but I have a feeling it's going to resonate for a bunch of you. Like if you lost a lover, right? And now you have lost your faith in love or the path of true love. Well, I get it. That's a necessary stage of the healing process to embrace that shadow, but to understand that's collective as well. It's not just in you. So as you heal it, you're healing it with everybody. Your soul knows the answers to this, but that doesn't mean we stuff that ego down even further into the darkness. No, no, no. We give it the time, the space, the rest, and the breath it needs to have its voice heard without it running the show. That's called shadow position. It's when people become, in a way, demonic. I'm not saying you are, but I am saying to trust in this process that you are going through because you are overcoming fear.
And it might be from cellular memories. In other words, this might not be, you might be, what does it mean to be triggered? Something in the present moment has stepped on the landmine inside of me that I didn't even know about that's all about the past. Oh, work. Snap. Let's move on, shall we? Capricorns, Archangel Michael. He's so hot. Nice sword. Uh, Archangel Michael, the healing angel of truth, right? Uh, the redeemer, the, not the redeemer, that's, a, that's Uriel. Um, the protector, the defender, the archangel of fire, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Leo. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, this is like a lightning bolt that just came into the room here. Um, what would you need Archangel Michael as a healing angel for? There's so much iconography going through my head, most of it Catholic, right? Sword drawn, head on the devil, like truth, the angel of truth, the sword of truth, cutting things clear. Let's just go straight to, right? Because I, I speak angelology fluently, even some of the older stuff, right? Breathe. Yeah, Ascended Masters. Uh, if you can tap Michael on the shoulder for a minute for me, please. One card in clarity. For the Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, please. What is the perfect healing mantra for them? Working with Archangel Michael, the only angel in this deck that is named by name rather than function, please, for the Capricorn Collective, March 2021, their mantra is rewriting the subconscious. The more I embrace feeling good, the less often I will feel bad. And then Archangel Michael, I mean, I'll read it from the book, but that does make sense. He's going to really highlight in truth where to go from this so that when you are, it, it doesn't mean that you're never going to feel bad. It's just with rewriting the subconscious, it's like illusion or falsehood or false code they just gave me. I guess that's a computer thing is rewritten, right, with uh, something more based in truth and maybe even cutting you free from not just energetic patterns, but people and places as well, that may have you in chains of fear. Rewriting the a subconscious. I love this deck so much. Uh, rewriting the subconscious. Now catch the, the play on words here. It'll help you remember it. The more I embrace feeling good, the less often I will feel. So more good, more good, less bad, right? But you got what I'm saying. When the subconscious is rewritten, you are able to feel good on a regular basis, regardless of the way life unfolds. In rewriting the subconscious, you reverse the gravitational pull of conditioning to become more familiar with the virtues of goodness. Now, right there, what a brilliant phrase. The gravitational pull of conditioning. Conditioning is what you are not, right? That's the stuff that you picked up from your family, from your friends, from your society, from, my God, just what's going on here and now in this world. So much stress, so much pressure, right? All of that conditioning is the stuff that you have taken on that is not you. This is reversing that gravitational pull. As goodness becomes more known, uh, the opposite vibration of negativity can become a less frequent visitor in your reality. It doesn't say it's never going to come back, it's just saying less frequent. And by the way, goodness, like when I first said that, I was like, goodness, mm, milkmaid, mm, milkmaid, right? good little girl. No, goodness, like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good, right? It's like, I, I'll work, I've worked this mantra. Um, this mantra is ideal for relieving guilt, releasing shame, and finding joy in new beginnings. What a cool mantra to work with Archangel Michael because it's, you can do this in truth. That this is something that mentally, yes, I get it, you're a Capricorn Earth sign, but everybody's got access to the element of air, right? This type of mantra will bring out such 10th house high potential in you because it has been hard. It has been rough. It's been rough for every sign of the zodiac and every placement that has ever been, right? The, the past couple of years, however, we are going through such intense transformation here. So for you to embrace feeling good, the more you do that, the less often you will feel bad. That's rewriting your subconscious, not even your subconscious, 
we're looking at what, what's in the subconscious, your beliefs, right? Your attitudes, your shadows in the subconscious. This is really going to bring a lot of healing to you, but I suggest you do this slow and steady wins the race. In other words, oh, the coffee was delicious, right? Isn't this about appreciation to an extent too? Abraham Hicks, white courtesy telephone, right? Rampage of appreciation. Like just to really in, enjoy the good feeling of a good cup of coffee. It just sounded like a commercial. Let's move on. I think you got it. But I'm really happy for you. You know, I, I have Capricorn friends. I have friends I resign in the Zodiac. Except <laughs> Gemini's. That's not true. <laughs> you just tease them. Um, and, and you guys have it. It's it's Saturn ruled. It's not easy, 10,000. Most people are terrified of their highest potential of what it's going to take to get there, right? So this feels like a balancing for you. And I really, really call to Archangel Michael. He's delightful. So cute. I mean, those blue eyes. Oy. Aquariums. Aquariums. Red alert, red alert. I got the romance card. The healing angel of romance. And I will tell you right now, I've worked with the healing angels of romance. And then the phone stops ringing for me. And I'm like, what's going on? They're like, we are healing your romantic energies by isolating yourself. So you never know what... Uh, <laughs> DFers, divine fuckers, like they're not motherfuckers, not father fuckers, <laughs> divine fuckers, uh, that are going to come in healing you. Now, the vibe on this feels really, really good, though. I tease, I kid, I tease, I flirt. <laughs> I just Elvis costello myself. Uh, this, this feels so lovely for you, but what would the healing angel of romance do? Begin bringing you some romances on the external to start you healing, and I hear trigger, 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 right? Just remember, not everybody they said they send are you supposed to say yes to. Sometimes you're supposed to say no, particularly when your heart is going, oh my god, but your gut is saying, get it up, fuck out of here, right? That this is how we heal. Look, romantic relationships are the hardest, and here's why. Family, you can't really get away from Kenya, you're genetically linked, right? There's always will and decision with romance uh, and sex and all of that jazz, right? And let's face it, the romantic paradigm is not all terribly that old in terms of human existence. When we were still hunter-gatherers, yeah, there was love there. There might have been some rural courting along the way. It's a fun phrase to say. But nowhere near the psychological dynamics that we have developed over the centuries and millennia, right? Romance now has a way bigger part in our society than it ever did. I mean, pre-Renaissance, right? Yeah, sure, it was there. So it's been an evolution so these particular soul contracts can be for the stuff that our family can't even touch, right? So if you're triggered by your family, that's one thing. That's why really a good foundation is start healing stuff with your own parents, right? Dead or alive, I did. Because then at least you know what's being triggered. If it is that, it is that. I, Path of True Love is probably the next book coming out. It's already written. I just have to update it because I wrote it a while ago. Uh, what is your healing angel with this? This should be telling. Nice deep breath. I have no planets in Aquarius, but I am such friends. I have such good friends that are Aquarians that um close friends to lifelong. Nice deep breath. <sighs> All right. My Ascended Masters General Assembly, please. What is the perfect healing mantra for this Aquarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus on watching this video, receiving this reading what is their perfect healing mantra the healing angels of romance please what what's going on there what's the mantra dissolving judgments i don't have to like the actions of others of others <laughs> my new york just came out i don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey i'm sorry they did what they did you don't have to like what they did in order to love your journey. Um, yeah, you might want to talk with the Capricorn. It feels like you got similar stuff going on here. Now, I will tell you, in terms of judgments, everybody has them. Even Dr. Hugh Lynn, uh, whole Pono Pono, Zero Limits, and all of that, said that he promised himself that the day he, that any day that he got through uh, with no judgments whatsoever, he would give himself a big banana split. I think it was a big bowl of ice cream. And that day never came right? And that's him. Uh, so what I do nowadays is I allow those judgments to come up and I sit with them like in inner child work and I find that the toxicity on the outside is just a thin veneer of lead and underneath it is usually uh, an intuition. Something's off here. 
let's keep going. Uh, um, I don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey, and I want you to love your journey, and I think that's what this is about. You can have a romance with your journey, with your life, with ice cream. They're a little cold, though. When judgments are dissolved, you don't have to enjoy the actions of others in order to glean and benefit from them, right? Like, watch what's going on on planet Earth. <laughs> I'm going to keep that off my channel, though. When you know that every moment has been uh, created to help each soul shine the brightest, it becomes easier to not take things personally. Instead, you are able to appreciate the positions life has put you in as evidence of your evolving mastery in form. With the healing angels of romance, are you kidding me? There's massive healing going on here because mastery is at play here. So, yeah, I don't like the way they treated me. But that doesn't mean I can't love my journey. That I can't look back and see that everything that has happened for me romantically, it didn't kill me. Because I'm an immortal soul that was chosen like an actor to play this role. And this is scripted. And it's made me a better actor. It's made me a better soul. Even if it sucks. Yeah. This mantra is ideal for learning to speak your truth, cultivating empathy, and trusting the universe. I think trusting the universe is your key there. I don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey. Which work. Pisces, you ready? Mm -hmm. Mer family. Oh, nature boy. Uh, oh, nature, the healing angel of nature. Now, I'm g glad this is for March, right? We might actually, it's cold here in New York raining today. 50 degrees, right? I guess Persephone's coming up to see mom soon. Uh, sooner rather than later. Screw that groundhog. No, don't. Lord knows. Burrow. Uh, this healing nature, right? This The healing angel of nature for me is obvious. I mean, I'm an earth sign. Like, I have not really gone a lot of places this past year. I used to go to the beach. I went to the beach once, I think. Uh, this past year, just to stand in a New Year's uh, New Year's Day, uh, uh, the healing angels of nature. What would they do? Oh, all right. Show you their own healing nature of your own being, like your own healing nature. They totally gave me that, and for Pisces, that does make sense. Um, but also to bring you healing things in nature, grounding you. Everybody needs to get outside, but. I get it, right? This past year, uh, last card down. There you are, my ascended masters, general assembly, please. Last card down for the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Watching this video, receiving this uh, reading in tandem with the healing angel of nature. What is their perfect healing mantra? Uh, for March 2021, please. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, sign. watching this video, uh, receiving this reading, allowing appreciation, which is, which me, the Abraham Hicks card. Uh, yeah, like rewriting the subconscious. The value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Now, look, if you're not familiar with Abraham Hicks, this is what you want to do. <laughs> Read all their stuff. Well, I was very into them for a while, and blessed be, right? They're they're great. Um, it's what people do with their teachings, honestly. That gets a little weird, but that's not their fault. To each their own. Uh, write this down. Abraham Dash Hicks Rampage. No, a real word. Rampage of appreciation, and you'll see what I mean because that's what I do when I get this card. It's a wonderful. I don't know, process. They call it a game, whatever. Yeah, that's from asking. It is given originally. That's been around for a while. The value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Now, in tandem with the healing uh, uh, angel of nature, that could be about your appreciative nature. In other words, there's more than one way. I am very leery of a reading where it's just literal, right? Sometimes it is that way and it feels that way. It is literally this. But that's what it means to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Go in different angles. Swim around this all signs, of whatever sign you are, right? In any reading that you get, even if it is face-to-face -face or personal read. Allowing appreciation here is definitely an energy raiser. Um, so to maybe even, like, appreciate it. I mean, it's so easy for me. I have a garden. I have a deck and a little 
Oh, we're building a raised bed this year for it. I'm so excited with a lid. So when it's winter comes, I can just shut it down. Uh, very, very excited for that. See, I really appreciate nature. Um, I literally live in the most mountainous part of Long Island with lots of trees, and I can stare out the window. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, Celestine Prophecy, James Redfield, uh, in, uh, in, uh, Insights Chapters 3, 4, and 5. You'll see, if you know what I'm talking about, the Celestine, C-E-L-E-S-D-I-N-E Prophecy. See the auras and breathe the auras. Allowing appreciation. I am so psyched that I'm a Pisces moon right now. I always am. Uh, uh, the value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, the value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. When appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of the soul. And that's why it's called allowing appreciation, right? You have to actually allow the process uh, the more often you appreciate, the greater value you feel within your own life. While there is true worth in uncovering your life's purpose, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do. Now, that's a deeper truth a lot of people don't want to see. They are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. Instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. This will awaken the feelings of elation that are always alive within you. And I forget who that was. Who had that one? Polishing my heart, receiving elation. Interesting. The cancer, another water sign there. That joy is inherent to who we are. But appreciation, again, they're giving that image of a sun burning away the clouds, right? The clouds that, that uh, obscure that. Uh, this mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness, decreasing feelings of scarcity, and raising your vibration. Really, really lovely. And I think this is about your true appreciative nature. And then it's talking really about the healing nature of the joy that is at the core of all of us, that divine truth, that divine spark, and let's face it, Pisces, we're the last sign of the zodiac. <laughs> all the other signs, it's where we're the master empaths, we can feel it, we understand it, because we've experienced it all. So, appreciate that. You know what I am? Depth. I, I do have depth. I, I do have empathy. And uh, as you begin, it's just like Abraham Hicks, as they say, it's like once you start that rampage going, like a little teeny tiny uh, snowball at the top of a mountain, it builds, it builds, it builds. So start with, you know what? I appreciate the, the temperature of this room right now. I appreciate this black shirt I'm wearing. I appreciate, and I so very, very much appreciate all of you, my uh, YouTube friends, my subscribers, and all of that. Go buy my book, Words of Grace. It's $9.99. Well, American. You know, don't make me do math. Uh, come party with me. Come tarot party with me Monday nights. Limit 10 people, because I ain't reading 10,000 people one night. Um, uh, on Facebook, the Mark Angela Lines Mel, for short. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong group. The Drawing the Circle Productions Facebook page. Links in the description box. Um, and here's the blessing. May all signs, may all beings watching this video, past, present, or future, be blessed with all that they need uh, with the healing angels and these healing mantras for uh, March 2021, that they may heal, that they may be guided with grace, love, wisdom, and power, every breath, every beat of their heart, every blink of their eye for their well-being and for the well-being of all. So motivate. And so it is. I'm done. <laughs> this is really good and really long, but I'm, I'm okay with that. So thank you so much for watching. If you like it, like it. You want more, subscribe. Share, because this you can share for anybody. But I do recommend write them down. Right? Write down at least the mantras and, and put them on post-its and move them around and see what phrases, what paragraphs you get out of that. Otherwise, wishing you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed of March 2021. My beloved Facebook friends, subscribers, followers, and all that jazz. Comment, comment, comment. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.